This video is proudly brought to you by Hollywood Bets. Register now and win. So the Springboks beat Wales. The scoreline was showed was convincing. Yes, it was the first game. Not at half time. Kaylin was very worried. <clears throat> the scoreline at the end of the game was convincing. Um, I was on a, I was on another group with. Um, I was on my basketball group, and part of the part of that group is two very serious Afrikaans men who were using language that that only Afrikaans. <laughs> <laughs> it would melt your ears, bro. bro. The love for the referee was high yesterday. Very high, very high, very high. Um, look, you can tell. You can tell. Like it's obviously not your first choice team. You could tell they were trying out some guys. You could tell. You know, Makazola Mapimpi. You know, abrasive tries. Like a good job. He's got a terrible dive. Hey, Direx, bro. Can you please dive properly when you score? Okay. That man was diving like the cops were chasing him. Yeah. Okay. And then, and then Caitlin's still even doing the action. As if <laughs> guys, you guys are trying to get me killed. Hey, cancel. Cancel. Hey, do you like to play with Tosa people? Marcus only will find Hey, Tosa people will swear to you. Cancel the network. Tosa people. Cancel. Yeah, Tosa people will fluk you, bro. So the yeah, that's what I'm saying. Side note, if you ever want to get into rugby, listen to the Cosa commentary. Oh, they get you hyped. No, they get you in it. Even though mm. you, even you 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 are you know you don't and you just have to understand like a little bit of Cosa English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you and you just have to understand like a little bit of Cosa and you get most of it. You get I mean they speak really quickly. You could tell you could tell like it was obviously far from perfect. Perfect. Um, I was quite harsh and critical of, of a lot of people, particularly our ten. <clears throat> My word. Well then, Jordan, you'll get better, bro. You'll get better. Yeah, I, yeah. In hindsight, now when I look back and I think about, it, I'm like, yeah, actually, he needs another opportunity. Yeah, no, hey man, it's the first game. He tried too hard. He tried too hard. Tried to force a lot of things. He was so flat. There was no. There was no control mm. for about mm. 15 minutes, and then I felt like mm. when when I'm Sasha sorry. What? The beginning of that damn game was who can collect how many yellow cards. <laughs> that game was yeah, a that lot of yeah, that ref yeah, that referee was looking for every reason. Him and his TMO were very enthusiastic in punishing people, man. But I feel like that's just a northern hemisphere. Listen, yeah. Pedantic. I, I feel like I feel like that game brought <laughs> up a lot of emotions. The first the first the first yellow card, okay. I watched that as well. The first yellow card you got to give because it's a try scoring opportunity. He was offside, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. The same and then penalty one, try. Yeah, it was a, it should have been a penalty try. I didn't give it. Um, he called the penalty, which which I thought was weird. Um, you know, because it's like you, you're in you're in a position to score. It's a penalty yeah. try, but okay, whatever. Then, um, then the second one, I was like. Okay. Um, if I see. We are we were all over the place with that no, one. Is second, it a yellow? The second Welsh one. Second <laughs> oh, Welsh okay, one. okay, okay, okay. Second Welsh one. Because Fassi, you've got to give that a yellow card, I'm afraid. Yeah, it's a bit reckless. He was reckless. He was mm. reckless. But I've realized it's a habit of his in general. So if you and you'll have to be altered. If you go back through his games in the domestic competitions, he kicks out a lot. He just does it. It's a habit, which is something he's got to, got to kick like he kicked other things. <clears throat> um, and yeah, I mean the second. Yeah, but I, I thought like I thought we we looked good when we went wide, and then mm -hmm. we went away from that, and we were disjointed, and we were kind mm -hmm. of trying to figure things out, and then all over the place. I just feel like we weren't. Mentally in the game, which not is, yet, yeah, yeah. So it's your first test of the year. Not in the first half, no. Yeah, I, the first test of the year, okay. And maybe you can stay your ass outside. And <laughs> uh, I just felt like okay, like the game was just it was it was just not going anywhere. 
stop and start, stop and then and start. Sasha yeah. came on, and then I've, and then like he gets, he bombs, he nails the kick. Right, like do, a venison. We well, we do score straight away in the second half. Then he nails the kick. He comes on, he nails the kick because I just feel like Jordan Hendricks just didn't have a good game, man. That's just no, no respect to the kid's ability and all of that. Mm-hmm. He'll, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. He'll be all right. He'll be all right at, at the Lions and he'll never get another shot. Um, at the Sharks. <clears throat> oh, is he going to the Sharks now? You remember he's coming down to Durban next season. Who's not going to Durban? <laughs> <laughs> not you and Caitlin. <laughs> um, so, yeah, man. It, it, I don't know. I don't know how you guys felt, but I felt like. Yeah, no, look. Uh, you see my expectation okay. level is. Now super high when it comes to the swing box, but uh, how do you guys? How did you guys feel about it? Uh, I'll start by saying I told you so. I was expecting the first half to be disjointed because a it's the first test match of the season, and b it was a very experimental side. I am gonna Our forward pack. I'm gonna go find the messages where you told me. You told me. So anyway, yeah. Our forward pack was what kept us balanced because it was more or less the World Cup final starting pack. Uh, it was expected. Look, I might have thought Wales might upset us because what happens is Wales is the one team we always play outside the test window. And in every game that we've played them outside the test window since Nick Mallet, 99, they've beaten us. They always seem to catch us out. If this game was at the Millennium Stadium, it could have been a different story. But because it was in it was in uh, North Cape Town, or as I like to call it, London, um, the Springboks were quite um, quite settled. And uh, Jersey, in the end, Jersey. South Jersey, North London. So I think the Springboks handled it well. It was a good run out. Um, I hit out because now Ireland is coming in two weeks. I think it was very smart that we had this test match that was forced and they were going to have some kind of rhythm going into um, the first test, the first test of the unofficial world championship against Ireland that concludes in Durban after beginning in 20. 